The Borsala, Dual, Tihange and Amesland nuclear power plants are situated within or close to the Netherlands. The risk of a serious accident occurring at one of these nuclear power plants is small. Nonetheless, citizens are concerned about nuclear power plants. This concern is due to incidents at nuclear power plants, which have received a great deal of media coverage in recent years. Besides, the disasters at Chernobyl and Fukushima have demonstrated the possible consequences of a nuclear accident. These concerns are why the Dutch Safety Board conducted an investigation into the cooperation between the Netherlands and its neighbouring countries to prevent a nuclear accident and the cooperation between the Netherlands and its neighbouring countries to limit the consequences of a nuclear accident if it were to occur. Furthermore, the provision of information to the public has been part of the investigation. The Dutch Safety Board conducted its investigation not only in the Netherlands, but also in Belgium and Germany. The parties concerned in the neighbouring countries have contributed to the investigation. Although the risk of a nuclear accident is small, the consequences can be severe and transboundary. Therefore, it is important that countries take account of this risk and prepare jointly for an accident. The investigation reveals that the cross-border cooperation has partly been arranged on paper. However, if a nuclear accident were to occur in reality, the Dutch Safety Board sees a strong possibility that the cooperation will not run smoothly. A number of emergency plans take little account of the fact that the consequences of a nuclear accident can be transboundary and that neighbouring countries will therefore have to cooperate. The three countries have scarcely conducted joint exercises related to a possible nuclear accident. Exercises are vital to see whether the cooperation is effective and to become acquainted with the partners on the other side of the border. If radioactive substances are released in the event of an accident, the authorities will have to take measures at the right time in order to protect the population against radiation exposure. These measures include sheltering, taking iodine tablets and evacuating people. The countries prepare measures independently of each other. Because they apply different distances in doing so, there is a possibility that people on one side of the border are instructed to do something different from those on the other side of the border. This situation can cause confusion and concern. It is important that people living near nuclear power plants receive unambiguous instructions if confronted with a nuclear accident. Differences in language and culture between countries can cause problems. These aspects have not been taken into account in the preparation. During an accident, the affected countries must jointly decide on the measures to be taken. No agreements have been made on joint decision-making. Some elements of cross-border cooperation have been well prepared. Countries have agreed to alert each other as quickly as possible in case of an imminent emergency at a nuclear power plant. They also have access to each other's radiation measurements and technical data during a nuclear accident. The nuclear regulatory authorities in the Netherlands and the neighbouring countries supervise the nuclear power plants to prevent an accident. They share information on the safety of the nuclear power plants, learn from each other and notify each other after an incident. All the incidents that occurred at the four nuclear power plants in the last 10 years were faults with no consequences for the safety of the environment. Despite this fact, these faults caused concern. The nuclear regulatory authorities publish a message on their website shortly after each incident. This information is easy to locate and allows citizens to see for themselves what has happened. The Dutch Safety Board believes, however, that most citizens will have difficulties trying to understand these explanations. The authorities fail to acknowledge society's concerns 
and to anticipate these concerns in their communication. In conclusion, the Board recommends the Dutch State Secretary for Infrastructure and Water Management to improve joint preparations for a transboundary nuclear accident together with Belgium and Germany, pay close attention to planning, exercises, harmonization of the protective measures and clarity of the information provision to citizens, enter into agreements with Belgium and Germany on joint decision-making in the event of a nuclear accident. In addition, the Board recommends the Dutch Authority for Nuclear Safety and Radiation to improve the information provision to citizens by communicating in plain language and arranging for a single information point for the public to obtain information on what action to take in the event of a nuclear accident. Thank <laughs> you.